good day so for this simulation video we're going to do the laboratory activity number 12 entitled generation of ttmf signals or the dual tone multi-frequency signals the aim of this laboratory activity is to generate ttmf signals using the matlab software so in theory the ttmf signal stands for dual tone multi-frequency signal and is a method of representing digits with tone frequencies in order to transmit them over an analog communications network for example a telephone line in telephone networks dtmf signals are used to encode dial trains and other information dual tone multi-frequency signaling is the basis for voice communications control and is widely used worldwide in modern te telephone to dial numbers and configure switchboards it is also used in systems such as in invoice mail electronic mail and telephone banking a dtmf signal consists of the sum of two sinusoids or tones with frequencies taken from two mutually exclusive groups these frequencies were chosen to prevent any harmonics from being incorrectly detected by the receiver as some other TTMF frequency. Mm. For each pair of tones contains one frequency of the low group and one frequency of the high group and represents a unique symbol. Uh, we can see it here in this table. Uh, this table we have for the rows we have here the low frequency and here in the column we have here the high frequency so for for every combination of low frequency and high frequency as said earlier it represents a unique symbol and as can be seen here in this table you can see this this representation as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the asterisk symbol, 0, and the sharp sign. We can also look at this table as a keypad or a dial pad. And as mentioned also, um, for every representation, there is a combination of low frequency and high frequency. Let's say, for example, for the representation of 4, uh, it represents the combination of low frequency 770 Hz and high frequency of 1209 Hz. Um, so going into the MATLAB, um, for the code, we can see here that first thing is we set the time which is stored in the t variable and then we set the x variable um, to store the input and we have here the phrase input the, po the in enter the input number which would ask the user to input any number and for these block of codes first for this four um this four represents the low frequencies that we saw on the table earlier so for low frequency one 697 hertz for frequency low frequency two 770 hertz frequency three is 852 hertz Fre low frequency four is 941 hertz for the fc this block of code it represents the high frequency signal for the FC1, we have 1,209 Hz. For the high frequency 2, we have 1,336 Hz. For frequency 3, we have 1,477 Hz. And lastly, for the high frequency 4, we have 1,633 Hz. For the next, next block of codes, which is this uh, Y variable, it represents the um, formula for the for every representation in the table or in the keypad and for, let's say for example let's use 4 again as the example um, 
for input 4, we have here an addition operation because as mentioned earlier, um, DTMF is a combination of two, uh, two sinusoids. So we have here the first sinusoid, which contains the low frequency, the FR2. And the next sinusoid, which is which contains the high frequency, the FC1, because looking back at the table, we can see that input 4 has 770 Hz as its low frequency and 1209 Hz as its high frequency. So looking back at the code, for input 4, we have FR2, which is 770 Hz, and FC1, which is 1209 Hz. And the same goes for every input here in this block of code. The next block of code, we have a conditional statement wherein for every condition we have we have set the possible input. Um for example, let's look again at example um else if x is equal to 4 4. This block of code will be run if the user enters the in or inputs the value which is 4. If that is the case, the program will plot t and y4 which is the t for the time that we set earlier and y4 which is the formula for the um the dtmf of the input 4 so we'll always have the x label as time and y label as amplitude if, uh, whenever if the case is if the user entered a value that is not on the table or in the keypad the program will output um, will display the output or the phrase enter the correct input so when we uh, run the program let's say for example let's use for so it says enter the input number which indicates uh it, it is asking the user to enter the input number um let's say for example again four enter four this is the graph or the representation of the dtmf of the value four um uh, going into the uh, Microsoft Whiteboard software, um, we have here the graph for every input. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, the asterisk, 0, and the sharp symbol. And as we can see here, for every input number, there is a unique and uh, unique um graph of the DTMF because as mentioned earlier um, each of them represents a combination of a low frequency and high frequency so we can see here that no graph is repeated and every graph is unique for every input number uh, for the for the analysis and conclusion of our group, um, based on the result of this laboratory exercise, there is a set of frequency sequences on the graph based on the input number on the system. When 4 was the input for the system, a certain set of frequency values was inputted and used in the program. With this, following the DTMF, and as, run, as we saw earlier, when we run the program, the value of 4 is equated to 2 frequency, which is the 770 Hz and 1209 Hz for the high frequency. Following this table, when 4 was the input, column 1209 Hz and 770 Hz was selected as the frequency value input for the system to work on and display its graph. On the graph, there is a sequence of frequencies that is set from 
negative 2 seconds to plus 2 seconds which is in the program that is the set time for the t variable. There are more sequences on the graph when there are lower inputs to the program. This graph shows that when the input of was 7, it shows that it shows that this output graph. Input 4 delay displays more sequences than when the input was 7, making the output signal graph look more compressed. The frequency of each sequence also has differences in amplitude depending on the used frequencies that 7 and 4 have value on the system based on the table above which resulted in the differences of frequencies and sequences per input number on the system. For our conclusion, based on the activity, we have learned about the TMF or the dual tone multi-frequency signal and its usage especially in voice communication that uses keypad or dial pad. We have also applied its principles using MATLAB where it asks for input numbers and based on the table of frequencies for DTMF. There are two sets of frequencies or tones used to create the output signal in this laboratory. Those frequencies are based on the column and row or the low frequency and high frequency where the input number is located on the frequency table for DTMF. The group has also learned about frequency groups where there are certain thresholds for frequencies to determine where they belong, like if they are in the low frequency group, medium frequency group, or high frequency group. With this laboratory experiment, we have explored and understood more about the nature and usage of frequencies, especially their combinations. So that is all for this laboratory activity. Thank you.